All right, welcome back everybody to part What did I just type? 18, I think. Part 18 of my Kingdom Come Deliverance um playthrough. So, yeah, we're basically starting off like the last video, which is in the rain. Um only this time we're headed straight towards the mines. So, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be, um, actually, you know what? We're gonna fast travel at least to Samar Pesh, and then, yeah, we're gonna fast travel to Samar Pesh, and then go from there. Well, the Samar Pesh doesn't really lead that way. It would be a bigger pain in the butt to do that. Anyway, um, so yeah, in the last video got, you know, got into some scuffles with some bandits who, you know, beat us quite a few times. Also, why are you just like walking around outside the village? It's a little suspicious. Not gonna lie, guy. Doesn't look good for you. Anyway, so we got into some scuffles, um, died quite a few times. Still not sure what I'm doing with that one. And I was gonna text and get your opinion, but... But... Yeah... Anyway... Hold on. I'm a little tired. I kinda like... Blanked there for a second and, and next thing you know... I'm just off-roading. Let's get back to the road. Plus, as you saw from the last video, the road is where the interesting th stuff happens. Huh. 15% damage bonus in mounted combat with both range and melee weapons. Let's do the war horse thing. Yeah. Because then at least the horse won't run away, as long as nobody hits him. I don't really do mounted combat much, because the problem there is it never works out that well. Because then the enemies just pull you off the horse. And then next thing you know, you're a sitting duck. Huh. Interesting. The weapons are still there, but the bodies are gone. <gasps> They came back. Interesting. We're we're going into round two with these guys. I'll be damned. I didn't even think that was gonna happen. All right, we're ready. Oh, it's a whole new set of dudes. There's not as many of them, for sure. So I'm kind of curious, like, what the fuck? No, wait. Those are... Those are regular bandits and cumans. Eh, I'm just gonna loot while I wait for him. You're gonna give me something to do, right? Oh. Snap. Arrow just bounced off. Oof. You got me good. I feel like this is the crossroads of death now. It's like every time we go by here, there's, there's action. Oof. Alright, well struck. Well struck. I 
think he's like a high-ranking human dude. Oh no! You dare hit my horse? You shall die! Okay, well, so what I think I'll end up doing is I'm going to cut the looting portion of this, um, looting portion? I don't know what you want to call it. Oh, that's 900. That's 900. It's probably going to be shit because it's broken, but you know what? Whatever. Better piercing out. That's probably mine. It's probably one of those ones that I fired and just ended up like bouncing off. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now so it'll make it easier for me to cut this. Okay, so just got finished looting those dudes. Uh, except for this dude, apparently. So, what I find interesting about... Well, not really interesting. What I find funny about this whole thing just now is... Like, there's all this loot, right? Like, we basically just encountered two ongoing battles. Um, the exact same spot, you know, like twice in a row. Ooh. We're actually running really low on Savior Snaps. So that's going to be priority number one um, off camera before I do anything else. Anyway, so we got all that loot, but like going into Sasau. I couldn't even sell all of the loot. Like, Master Alta just straight up ran out of money to pay us for all the loot we got. So that's a little ridiculous. Um, oh, we missed it. So now yeah. we have even more loot to sell. And I'm assuming we're going to get even more loot because of this mission. I remember there being a path going up. I guess not. 
I just have to walk up. Oh, the path was way over there. Now here's the deal. I usually do this mission in the dark. Are we are we here already? Shit. We're right here already. Yeah, I usually do this whole mission in the dark. Just because it's a lot safer. So um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it once in daylight. Like, I'm gonna save. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Making sure the save worked. Um, I'm gonna try this in daylight, and if that doesn't work out. What's going on there? Who's there? You're in the wrong place. To arms! Get over here! Oh. Raise the <laughs> alarm! Watch out! Ah! You're dead. Hey, ah. all of you oh, shit. gather here! Raise the alarm! Quitting! I'll slaughter you! Ow. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Is that the best you can do? Curse it! You'll get one. The problem is there's four of them. So I'm literally getting one of them is not even armed. Take that! I'll wring your neck, you cut. Okay. We got one. We got one. It's really those two that's the problem. Shit. We're just going back in back into bushes. Bring it on. Okay, got him down. I think they just damaged each other. On again. Come on then, Horson. Horson. I'm going to enjoy this. Ah! Come here. Ah, uh, this is getting confusing. You call that combat? Is that all? Okay, just one left. There we go. Jeez, him. Yeah, fuck you, guy. I'm gonna steal your apple. Like, got incredibly lucky that they didn't exactly have like the best armor or the best skill. But damn, that nine 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 nine. It's like, just got lucky they didn't have the best equipment. Kinda wish I knew where those other dudes died. So I'm sure they had, like, money on them at least. You think? Fuck. It's like, what I might have to do... Let's just go back around.
Okay. Yeah. Stairs to pass. Yeah. Yeah, we like way and way off on the path. So that was the one that we encountered. Yeah. Where they were definitely protecting that one. Try to just power through in the brush. There we go. Well, there's one guy. It's actually a guy who actually who got to pick up a sword. Well, he had a tiny bit of crushing. The burger sword is worth something, so we're gonna take that. Actually, do we have any more marigold deduction? I'm hoping everybody attacked me actually, so that there's nobody gonna be here. Um, Cause I don't know if I can keep healing. It's like I couldn't figure out if I could keep healing while, you know, in combat. Like I know I can't drink potions while I'm in combat, but you know, once the combat already started. Okay. So this whole thing is a little suspicious. Rob. Fucking bandits. Uh, you know what? That's gonna be worth something, actually. I got the end of the day. Put it all together. Mail coif. Yeah. It's light enough, I suppose. Ooh, mail costs. I know chainmail is expensive because of all the work that goes into making them. I'm not sure if this is. Oh, it's a Gambitson. What's it supposed to replace? Eh. We'll just transfer it over. So. We will continue on our great quest. I'm actually doing great time, because I need to go to bed soon. So, this might be a shorter episode than normal, but I think I've been doing like super long episodes anyway. So, only makes sense. I'm gonna pull out the bow first, because in a small spot it's going to be a little easier to just shoot someone. If I can figure out where I'm going. Damn it, Stark in here. Just gonna sprint out into the open. Sprint the fuck out into the open. And then. Ah, oh, He looked. They look better armed. Well, that guy's better armed than the other guys. We're gonna do an old trick. You're not getting off scot free. Pay up. What's to be done? And then we kill him.
Well, we leveled up our mace, and we got new um, skills, I guess. Soul Slicer. I think that was an expensive sword. Oh, no, it wasn't, because we were able to afford it pretty easy. Eh, the dried stuff's always good, because well, it's dried and it lasts. Alright, so before, I kind of just panicked and then turned around and ran. This time, we're actually going to fire the arrow. If somebody sees us. God damn, I can't see anything. I hear something. Ah, we found it. What do you want here? I don't know you. I'm here at the command of the royal hetman, Sir Radzig Kabila. Radzig Kabila, the king's hetman. <laughs> I see. I'm here to place you under arrest. I gathered as much. And you came alone? Ha! Huh. Very daring of you, I must say. I'll manage. Sometimes even a king can be deposed without an army. So, I'm a king now? And you want to dethrone me? By the way, who betrayed me? That hardly matters, does it? Do you think I won't get a chance to settle up with them? But I hope you don't imagine I'm just going to follow meekly after you like a lamb to the slaughter. Hmm. And where would you want to go? Anywhere. Anywhere else is preferable to Kobila's dungeon. Really? You can't go to Moravia. The Margrave himself is after you there. And in Bohemia, the kings may change, but the coin remains, my friend. What do you mean? Whoever gets to be king, they can't afford to have someone forging money. Do you think I'm doing this on my own? No, but when the kingdom's back in order, and it'll be time to shut this little operation down, they'll be only too happy to let you take the blame. Counterfeiting money gets no clemency. It doesn't matter. Kobila will string me up from the highest tree in any case. Maybe, but you're very shrewd and very persuasive. And you might know a few things that are worth more than your life. It's up to you. Either you give yourself up and try to make a deal with Sir Radzik, or you'll be on the run for the rest of your life. A deal with Sir Radzik? It's true they say he's a canny man. If you cooperate, you stand a chance. Oh, very well then. May as well climb straight into the maw of the beast. So let's go. Master Feyfar will be itching to ask you a few questions. All right. Good job, Henry. Good work, Henry. Thank you, Master Feyfar. It wasn't easy, I can tell you. I'll take some men and have a good look around there. And what should I do? You should get some rest and go to Rate. In the meantime, Sir Radzig will have this wretch questioned. Maybe he'll get something useful out of him. All right. I'll see you in Rate then. All right. So, what I'm going to do is, well, let's take off the torch first, put the shield on. I'm going to fast travel to Ratai, and then, what you call it, finish up the quest there. And once we're done with the quest, I'll end the video there. Should be... Uh, about a quick 30 minute episode overall unless we find more you know bandit fights of which I guess we will fight 
So far, so good. So in the game, since Sasa was really, oh, okay. You think you could just walk off with my prize? Think again, fucker. What are you going on about, dude? I'll Who are you? Oh, it's the guy from the tournament. Yeah, it's the guy from the tournament. Holy shit. Dude's got asthma. Oh, what the fuck? I had him cornered and he just goes... Oh, that's true. This guy's really good, actually. I just... I just remembered. Okay. Henry, just one strike. Yep, that was Black Peter. Motherfucker. Tried to kill me. Oh shit, he even poisoned me. I don't think I've actually seen myself po be poisoned before. Bane Potion. You gradually lose 110 points. You're slowly dying of poisoning. Do we have anything to cure poison? Uh, like, I don't think it's actually gonna kill me, kill me, but... Ooh. He's got loot. He's got loot! Asshole, though. Expensive shoes. You know what? We're gonna take out away everything because even though we don't need it, we're gonna leave this guy in disgrace. Shit. what you call it. Oh no! He set a trap for us. Hold on. I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff first because it's too heavy. We need to be able to move for to save our life. Dang, it's like, I was like, okay, we're just gonna go to Sir Radzig. Finish up, no biggie. Now we're fighting for our life. What time is it? Yeah. You're too badly hurt, you need treatment. Yep. Uh wait. The bathhouse people have doctors. Yeah. I know that much. So we're gonna go there. Before the marigold um, thing runs out. That fucker, though. Henry, walk faster. Good evening. I'd like to. So, what are you? Yo, my wounds, bath, laundry. Ah, uh, I'll certainly need a physician to treat. But of course. Save me, save me. Fine. I'm sure you'll. Watch him just like flop over. Like the screen just tears and just like.
Dang, that was fucking close. That dude was an asshole. Like, poisoned me and everything. But god damn, that was exciting. It's like, I remember being attacked by... Well, actually, no, I don't remember being... I remember getting ambushed around that era before. I don't remember it being Black Peter. It's either that or I just wasn't paying attention at all. But the fact that he ambushes you, poisons you, is insane. It's like, that dude's crazy. Wait, what? That... I was gonna say, that's our room, isn't it? Wait, what? That is our room. Why do we not have access to our room? Yeah, that's the page die. What the fuck? We have to break into our own room. What the fuck? Have anything that's stolen. Okay, nope. Wonder why the room was fucking locked. I'm gonna have to Google that one. I wonder if that's a thing. I'm doing ten o'clock. Because that's usually when everybody's around. Okay. Game saved. It's like, I know I heard the guards. But I'm glad they didn't actually hear us, you know, breaking into our own fucking room. Like, what the hell? That's gotta be a strange glitch. Unless someone's just playing a trick on us. Saradzig? Saradzig. There's the man. Good work, Henry. Thank you, sir. I tell you to take a well earned rest, but unfortunately, I need one more thing from you. Oh, of what course you do. Yezhek refuses to talk to us. The stubborn bastard's asking to see you. Me? Indeed. Normally I'd send for Captain Burner to beat it out of him, but then I told myself that if he's so keen to speak to you... I'll try to get something out of him. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, sir. Okay. The fuck was that noise? Oh, it's like, the fuck? Alright, see you. Yeah. As much as I'm really enjoying the... Um, okay, we have to get the keys from Captain Bernard first. As much as yeah. I'm really enjoying the main mission, I feel like we need to start working yeah. on some side quests. And maybe not necessarily side quests, but like DLC quests, you know? Because otherwise, I'm basically just gonna f straight up finish the game. Well, I think we've still got quite a ways to go, honestly. If I remember correctly. Like, I remember the general broad strokes of where everything is, but not necessarily, you know, like... Oh, do you have this much left in the game? I need the key to Yezhek's cell. Hmm. So, Sir Radzik let him have his way in the end. He should have let me beat some answers out of him. Don't take it that way. He probably wants to talk to me because he reckons he can hoodwink me. But that's where he's wrong. Just try not to mess it up. Here's that key. Thanks.
I need to buy like a nicer thingy because I actually have pretty bitchin' looking armor. So keeping it covered all the time does it no favors. I'm curious to see if there's um, there's going to be any more tournaments now that we've actually won and the other victor has been killed. Or if that's, you know, that's really it. I guess we'll just have to find out later on. But yeah, I guess I'm going to talk to this guy, maybe talk to Sarah Radzik, whatever the thing is. And then, you know, end it there. God be with you, Henry. Hey, Ricky. Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. Why do you want to talk to me, of all people? Radzik will keep me alive only as long as it takes to get everything I know out of me. You, on the other hand, gave me certain assurances. So I want to be sure that the secrets my life depends on end up in good hands. Sure. So come on out with it. Tell me everything you know and then we'll see. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructed. What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sasau recruit me. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. But I don't know who. Hmm. How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago. And they said they were heading for Sasau. That armed men were being recruited. And they'll hire anyone. Let's see... Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month. So I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sasau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times. Not some common peasant. Can you get to the point? Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. Hmm. This Eric... You reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord, though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this, Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. This highly placed person at the monastery, what can you tell me about him? I've no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Mm, I see. Is there anything else at all you can tell me about him? No, nah, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. Crimps. You're telling me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sasau? Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sasau. It's about who you know, as always. You said you gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. Hmm. 
if you say so. Okay. That'll do me for the moment. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzik? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. I can try, but I can't promise you anything. Okay. So... I don't really know how I feel. I mean, we didn't necessarily promise him anything. He kind of gave us the information already. So let's see what Sir Radzik wants to do. It's like, I am down. You know, I will agree to my liege lord. No matter what he says. As I run over everybody else. I don't remember actually ever being here. Come on, walk faster. Walk faster. Oh god damn it. I was gonna say. Okay, so I do need to go in there. Aha! You fucking come back. Why is it like blinking or something? All sorts of things. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring. And someone highly placed at the monastery. The monastery? Really? That's what Yezhek claimed. So it's worse than I thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? Can't we just go to the monastery to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. Hmm. So what will you do? I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know, but he's recruiting armed men in Sassau and forming an army. Damn! So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, Sir Yezhek is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasso and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. It might not be as straightforward as that. Sir Yezhek didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here and nobody knows anything. Go to Sasso and try to find them. I'm not sure where to start, sir. Then ask around the alehouses and inns. Or at the what if we lose reputation? Someone must have heard something. These things can't be entirely kept in the dark. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. I'll try to blend in as best I can. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I know of no one else who could help as much as you can now. Sir, there's one more thing. Oh, shit. Sir Yezhek went with me without resistance, because I promised him he could come to an agreement with you. My boy, my boy. You make promises in my name. That could turn out very badly for both of us. But, if it can prevent bloodshed, why the hell not? We may well come to some arrangement after all, but I can't say yet what will become of him. You'd better run along. As you command, sir. Man. I don't like that we just like lost reputation all random like that. We're like 96% on scallops though. Like, dang. So, it must have, like, pissed off some other people. I like that we're 82 at Ujits. 84 Red Thai seems about right. Anywho. Okay, so that's actually a pretty decent, um, length episode. Oh, okay. So I guess the game is just glitching a little bit. I want to see what's in here. Whoa. Whoa! But there's guards there. 
That looks cool though. It's like the lighting's all fucked up. Like, it looks like a fucking, you know, Skyrim dungeon. Or like any fantasy dungeon, really. It's like, I think the game just glitched, so it's like it messed up the lighting. It just made it look like that. But anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. Um, need to get some edits out. Actually upload some videos at some point. Um, but yeah, having a lot of fun with this game. I've forgotten how good it is. Well, I haven't forgotten. It's just, I know it's good. I just forgot how good, if that makes any sense. But yeah, next time we come back, I'm going to take a break from the main quest and we'll run around and do stuff around the world. Might do like two episodes of that. But, for now, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly did. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.